right friends welcome back to English comprehension and vocabulary today is uh, session 12 and as announced yesterday we are going to deliberate on stone walling by reserve bank of India and uh, tomorrow we are going to have deliberation on globalization's uh, new spokesman this is editorial of the Hindu today this will be discussed tomorrow and today's discussion is yesterday's uh, business line article and this is a stone walling by the reserve bank of india stone wall what is the meaning of stone walling let us look at the meaning of stone walling stone walling means it is used under various circumstances when somebody is not answering somebody is not cooperating somebody is stopped discussing at the same time somebody is delaying deliberately under the circumstances this word is used and I gave two examples. One example is when opposition has given proposal on social security, government normally adopts delaying tactics that is stonewalling. So, government stonewalled the proposal given by the opposition on social security. Opposition has given the proposal on social security, but government stonewalled the proposal. So, this is one example, second one is as usual we have seen just now Reserve Bank of India is a stone walling on the issue of remonetization. So, it is not answering, it is not cooperating, it is not putting forth the facts, it is not coming forward with the real facts that is why this word is used here. So, RBI is a stone walling on the issue of remonetization what is remonetization opposite to demonetization is remonetization right so look at the next one the central bank central bank means reserve bank of india reserve bank of india needs to be more forthcoming on the remonetization roadmap demonetization means stripping the currency of its legal status rupees 500 rupees 1000 were taken out that is demonetization and putting back the currency, some legal currency has to be put back that is remonetization. Here the central bank needs to be more forthcoming, forthcoming has got two meanings. Please look at these two, forthcoming means happening soon. Now Uttar Pradesh assembly elections are going to be held and we can take this as an example. There is a tie up between Samajwadi party and Congress party in the forthcoming UP assembly elections. The meaning here is forthcoming means they are about to come soon. That means they are going to happen soon. Under those circumstances forthcoming is used. So, here there is a tie up between Samajwadi party and Congress that is why this example is given. Here forthcoming UP assembly elections means UP assembly elections are going to happen soon. Then another example is here forthcoming is helpful, friendly, willing to give information. If any organization or any person is helpful, friendly and if the organization is willing to share information, you can say the organization is forthcoming. The organization is forthcoming, the meaning is it is willing to share information. But in this particular case, Reserve Bank of India is not willing to share information. Reserve Bank of India is hiding the facts, that is why this word is used not forthcoming. In the entire issue of demonetization, Reserve Bank of India is not forthcoming. Here you see the central bank needs to be more forthcoming. It is not revealing information, that is why it should be more forthcoming, it should be more friendly, it should be more uh, able to share the information. So, under those circumstances, this word is used. Then look at the next sentence. It has been 75 days since November 8. This uh, demonetization took place uh, 75 days ago. It has been 75 days. He is talking about the period from that date to this date. From that date to this date, that is why in this paragraph this is used. It has been, right. So, it has been 75 days since November 8, at 75 days past, at even after 75 days, 
in that context at is used, at can be used at number of uh, circumstances, in number of circumstances at can be used. I give three examples, you see the boy has not come at until now, the boy has not come with that meaning we can use the boy has not come at that means until now he has not come and you see even at this stage I gave one classic example he studied up to graduation in a rural area at he has ability to become IAS officer at he is ability to become IAS officer that means his abilities are very very high though he studied in rural area at it means it is giving something even at this juncture, even under these circumstances. That means, even though he got educated in rural area, rural schools, but his ability is too high with that meaning it is used, it can be used here. Then another thing is to add something with a surprise. That means, a person is 60 year old, bald head, at the same time overweight, at he looks handsome. So, at he looks handsome. Normally, when a person is 60 years bald, overweight, we expect that he will not be handsome, but under the circumstances, at is used to indicate some contrary meaning with a surprise, right. So, here the meaning is at means even after 75 days. The Reserve Bank of India has failed to answer crucial questions. Reserve Bank of India has failed, has failed, this is very important. He is linking the circumstances with the present day reality, that is why he used has failed. If he is linking to something else which occurred 3, 4 years ago, he has to use had failed. So, there is a difference when you are understanding the passage from has failed, had failed. Here he used has failed to answer crucial questions on how it intends to re-monetize the economy. So, it is not answering the crucial questions. Crucial means very, very important, extremely important, because when the money will be put into circulation, that is quite important for each and every citizen of the country. I have given one example here. When you look at bullet train project, Land acquisition is the crucial factor in the success of bullet train project. Land acquisition is the crucial factor in the success of bullet train project. That means, it is extremely important. Let us go back to the passage. So, Reserve Bank of India has failed to answer crucial questions on how it intends to re-monetize the economy in its recent depositions before the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Finance and Public Accounts Committee. Recently, Reserve Bank of India governor appeared before parliamentary standing committee. That is why he used the word deposition. Deposition is to be used when something happened as per mandatory stipulations or in a court of law. Under those circumstances only deposition is used. The meaning is statement in a court of law or in front of authority. Reserve Bank of India governor has given statement in front of parliamentary standing committee. So, that is why this word is used, always it cannot be used, it can be used in place of, uh, in under circumstances where the statement is given in a court of law. I gave deposition in the district court, I gave deposition in high court. Similarly, deposition before the elected members in a parliamentary democracy is quite common. I gave example here and another meaning is there for deposition. All of you are familiar with South Sudan here. The vice president was deposed, that means removing someone from a powerful position. So, this deposition has got two meanings. Please understand and please do not forget this. So, let us go back to the present context. In its recent depositions before the Parliamentary Standing Committee, the RBI merely said that 9.2 lakh crore worth of new currency had been injected into the banking system in place of 15.4 lakh crores of rupees 500,000 notes that had been withdrawn from circulation. I told you previously 
he used has there had here why he used had been had is used because demonetization completed on december 30 from november 8 to december 30 so the aspect is no more in vogue so it belongs to some previous period that's why he used 500 1000 crore rupee notes rupees 500 and rupees 1000 notes that had been withdrawn from circulation so 15.4 lakh crores of notes had been withdrawn from circulation why he used had been is because it occurred some time back it is not related to till date if that demonetization is in og is on, on today also if demonetization is in og even today also then he has to use has been but he used had been because of the reason demonetization is over let us come back to the passage rpa merely said that merely so merely i would like to tell you with some examples so merely has got a two meanings one meaning is you see this boy this boy has not spoken to me merely smiled so use it to emphasize exact sense he has not spoken to me boy has not spoken to me merely smiled and if you look at another example some x is suffering from cancer and these medicines won't cure her can merely reduce the pain merely means used to emphasize that something is only partly effective using medicines for cancer at the end stage has got no meaning but merely they reduce the pain so he is talking about one part that means only partly that is effective not fully so in the present context also that is used with the same meaning because rpa has given only part of the information it has not revealed all the facts rba merely said that rba only said that 9.2 lakh crores has been injected into the banking system in place of 15.4 lakh crores right so merely has got two meanings and please understand these words look at the next what is however not known what is not known in in between there is however what is however however we discussed previously whatever the amount or degree right so however this is not known is whether the new currency notes are meant to fully replace the old given the push towards cashless transactions not known that is why he used merely in the previous paragraph he used merely because reserve bank of india governor only stated this so and so lack of currency is put, put back into circulation and more than that he has not revealed all the facts that is why some facts are not known and in that context he is continuing this paragraph what is however not known is whether the new currency notes are meant to fully replace the old given the push towards cashless transactions and we are not clear whether all the notes will be replaced or not governor urjit patel has refused to tell us has refused to tell us the value of the old notes that have returned to the system so far no figures are given out of 15.4 lakh crores of rupees how many of the notes have gone back into the bank's coffers that was not revealed by rpi governor so that's why he used merely previously the usage of the term merely is he has not told a lot of information and only part of the facts are given that is why merely was used in the previous paragraph and now governor urjit has refused to tell us the value of the old notes that have returned to the system the timeline for removal of withdrawal limits has not been indicated withdrawal limits now there are limits 24,000 or something, 10,000 in ATMs. These limits, when they will go away, 
that is also not indicated. That is why the word merely was used. So, after looking at one particular word, you can look at the sense of next paragraph. So, the sense of this paragraph is, you can understand, when you understand the meaning of merely in the previous paragraph, that means in the previous paragraph, he stated only one sentence, that means Reserve Bank of India Governor stated only one thing, what is not stated is given here, right. So, and hence, the return to a sort of new normal with cashless transactions playing a bigger role than pre-November 8. So, now cashless transactions are playing a bigger role, it is undoubtable fact and this is new normal. This word quite often you come across in economy or anywhere, new normal, what is the meaning of new normal? Please look into this, new normal means the current state after some dramatic change. The new normal is the present state after some dramatic change. Now, the 500 rupee, 1000 rupee notes are demonetized. What is new normal now? The new normal is digital transactions now. So, here after demonetization, digital transactions even in rural areas is the new normal. So, new normal is to be understood quite uh, clearly. New normal means when some dramatic change occurs, then only you have to use it for the current state. And once all the diesel vehicles are about to switch to electric vehicles, then you can use that term electric vehicles is the near new normal now. That means, after the dramatic change only you have to use. Protectionist tendencies in advanced economies, protectionism is opposite of globalization. Protectionist tendencies in advanced economies became the new normal, right. So, under the circumstances only new normal is to be used. So, let us go back. So, it is the new normal in comparison to pre-November 8. And when these cash withdrawal limits will be there, when they will go away, nothing is indicated by the reserve bank governor. And when he deposited, when he gave deposition before parliamentary standing committee, he has not given to parliamentary standing committee, then we cannot expect that he will give information to us. As a result of this opacity, we discussed previously, what is the meaning of opacity? Opaque transparent. Opaque means it is not clear, something is hidden. Transparent means everything is clear. In the public domain, public institutions must function with a lot of transparency, but here transparency is missing and lot of opaqueness is there. That is why opacity is used. As a result of this secrecy or you can say, as a result of this opacity, there is lot of uncertainty. Air of uncertainty means, there is lot of uncertainty. No one knows when the Reserve Bank of India is going to get back entire money into circulation, whether Reserve Bank of India will get back or not, that is not clear. Despite the fact that the cash shortage in banks and ATMs has eased, despite the fact, the fact at present is, the cash shortage in banks and the ATMs is eased, that means it is much better now. Under these circumstances, there is a still air of uncertainty because of the opacity of Reserve Bank of India. Reserve Bank of India can straight away tell that we are going to re-monetize by January end, February end, March end, like that. It is not coming forward, that is why there is a still an air of uncertainty. According to reports on the RBI's submission to the standing committee, the currency with the public as on January 13 at rupees 9.7 lakh crore is more than the new notes in circulation. This is more than the new notes in circulation, an indication that the people are perhaps holding cash in the belief that the cash crunch is here to stay. Here, this sentence is actually not understood clearly because of the reason. 
there are some currency notes in circulation 50 rupees 100 rupees if you add them to the new currency which is put back into the circulation it becomes much more but this is sentence probably wrong from the newspaper perspective also because previously people are holding that 50 rupee notes 100 rupee notes if you add all of them it should be much more and this sentence do not uh, uh, does not reveal there is holding but i am going to explain you the meaning of holding as well as cash crunch holding cash in the belief what is meant by holding holding has got two meanings one is big sign board is holding all of you are familiar with this advertisement boards that is holding and another meaning of holding is this storing something more than required is holding with the anticipation that it will not be available in future we hold more than required if someone says tomorrow there will be crisis for rice or wheat what we will do we will hold rice and wheat in our houses more than required similarly in this sentence the editorial felt that people are hoarding cash they are keeping cash in their houses with the impression that in future cash crunch will be there in future there will be cash shortage crunch means basically there will not be enough of something so in future there will be a situation not enough of something so because of that reason people are holding cash so crunch this word is quite frequently you come across cash crunch is hitting msmes badly so crunch means situation not enough of something right so this holding crunch these two are important words let us go back to move back move to the next paragraph the next paragraph is this precautionary demand why people are holding cash because they are going with some precaution that tomorrow cash may not be available that is why they are holding cash tomorrow cash crunch may be there that is why they are holding cash so the precautionary demand for cash can be seen as erosion of faith in RPA this is most important why people are holding cash people are holding cash because there is erosion in the faith of reserve bank of india as the custodian of financial stability who is the custodian of financial stability the custodian of financial stability is reserve bank of india and as a custodian of reserve financial stability the faith of the people on reserve bank of india has gone away that's why people are holding money right erosion look at this erosion means because of heavy floods this part of the road is eroded sometimes because of sea waves part of sea beach will be eroded that is known as erosion another meaning is there gradual reduction or weakening of something in this particular case this is used with the sense that the authority of reserve bank of india is eroded in the public sphere public perceived that the erosion of the authority of reserve bank of india so erosion means this gradual reduction of something maybe gradual reduction of faith in the present case and look at it high non performing assets in public sector banks may erode the capital base of the banks right so here reserve banks faith will be eroded the reserve bank of india must be more transparent why it is so opaque why it is functioning with a lot of secrecy it is not understandable the reserve bank of india must be more transparent about how it will stabilize the situation let it come out with solutions how it will stabilize the situation and achieve the transition to a cashless economy besides bringing credit growth back on track besides beside besides there is uh, this is uh, some difference besides beside both are entirely different there is i cannot say some difference both are entirely different besides he plays cricket besides hockey beside 
Arvind house is beside Kennedy school that means by the side of, beside means by the side of, besides means something else, he plays cricket, besides hockey. Similarly, here RPA's role is not only ensuring smooth the transition to cashless economy, you cannot call cashless economy, you, you have to call less cash economy. Cash is very much required. So, this cashless economy is got no literal meaning. It should be less cash economy, in fact, in literal terms. And the RBI's role is, the first role is transition to cashless economy. The second one is, besides that means, there is another thing which RBI is required to do, bringing credit growth back on track back on track. What is the meaning of this? Back on track means something is not going on well. You have to put back into the right track. Now, credit growth is not satisfactory from the banking system and one has to keep that back on track. So, that is why he used this back on track and in addition to transition to cashless economy, besides bringing credit growth back on track, right? it has a key role to play in ensuring that the adverse socio-economic impact of demonetization is short lived. Adverse socio-economic impact of demonetization is short lived. Right? So, here the adverse, all of you are familiar with adverse, the impact of demonetization is there, some harmful impact is there on the economy, adverse meaning please look into it. This is a harmful effect on something, negative effect or harmful effect. Cricket match was cancelled because of adverse weather conditions. Right? Then the next word short lived, short lived means lasts only for a short time, short duration. I gave one example, their marital relationship. After their marriage, they applied for divorce within short time. So, the sentence, please look into it. Their marital relationship became short lived because of persistent differences. So, here RBI's role is much more and RBI has to do a lot. That is the meaning here you see, it has a key role to play in ensuring that the adverse impact of demonetization is short lived. Adverse impact of demonetization must be short lived. It should not prolong further and RBI should take steps to look at all these aspects. That is the meaning of this. Look at the next paragraph, former governors have pointed to the RPA, former governors Y V Reddy, Bimal Jalan pointed to the RPA being exposed to reputational risk. RBI's reputation is endangered. The Reserve Bank of India earned a name for itself by shielding the country from financial turmoil in the wake of East Asian crisis and Great Recession. Great Recession of 2008, East Asian crisis of 1997, RBI has shielded the country, shielded, protected the country, shield. Shield has got two meanings, one is physical, physical shield. This is a large flat object used by the police. So, shield means to protect oneself, that is a shield. And in the present case, RBI shielded our financial system from the adverse impact of this crisis of 2008 and 1997 and here this sentence will give you better sense. Our forefathers made election commission, finance commission as constitutional bodies, so as to shield them from undue executive interference. And here RBI has earned a name, RBI has got a lot of good name for itself by shielding the country from financial turmoil in the wake of East Asian crisis and the Great Recession. Today, it is being held responsible for making a mess out of implementing demonetization. The good name of RBI has gone now. Previously, it shielded our country, it protected our country from the adverse impact of the crisis of Great Recession of 2008. And Turmoil. Turmoil means state of confusion, uncertainty, disorder. 
majority of West Asia is in turmoil because of geopolitical conflicts. So, there is a lot of uncertainty, disorder, confusion under those circumstances turmoil is used and in the wake of, in the wake of means following something as a consequence we discussed previously. So, let us come back to the passage, here Reserve Bank of India has got a good name and today it is being held responsible for making mess out of implementing demonetization. It is situated total mess, total mess means messy situation we discussed previously, messy means totally dirty situation, disorderly situation, untidy situation. This is totally created by Reserve Bank of India today and previously it was known for lot of reputation, now it created a mess, right. But in order to act as a bulwark against financial contingencies, some financial contingencies bound to be there. And the Reserve Bank of India is to act as a bulwark. What is the meaning of bulwark? Bulwark is something that protects from unpleasant situations. That is the bulwark. You see the example, my savings, I saved every month. If tomorrow I become unemployed, my savings will act as a bulwark against unemployment. I saved a lot of money, so as to take care of future contingencies. So, in a similar context this sentence is framed, but in order to act as a bulwark against financial contingencies, contingencies means definitely some of the other problems are bound to come, every one of us should take action to face contingencies in future. Some minor problems which are expected to come up in future, these are, they are contingencies. So, here please read this sentence carefully, but in order to act as a bulwark against financial contingencies, they are bound to come. It must recover its last voice, it must recover its last voice, voice was lost recently, its stature was lost recently, its autonomy was lost recently and everything should be restored. It is required to act as a bulwark against financial contingencies. So, it must recover its lost voice, stature and crucially its autonomy. It should act independently. While the decision to demonetize was the prerogative of the government, was within the duty, within the decision making power of the government, prerogative of the government. It is hard to understand why the RBI governor and his team did not place their views in the public domain. Why RBI is silent? Why it has not placed its views in the public domain? Since November 8, the finance ministry has been briefing the media almost on a daily basis on the cash status. Finance ministry is speaking on cash status. It is within the purview of Reserve Bank of India. Why Reserve Bank of India is not speaking? Why Finance Ministry is speaking? That is why the voice is lost, the stature is lost, autonomy is lost. At least RPA should gain this immediately, otherwise RBA's reputation is at risk. Then as an independent authority, the RBA should not have shied away from explaining issues that fall squarely in its domain. RBA should not have shied away from explaining issues that fall squarely in its domain. RBA should have explained why finance ministry is explaining. This is the domain of Reserve Bank of India, why Reserve Bank of India is silent. So, this uh, editorial is quite critical about RBA's role. Its uh, recent monthly bulletins have nothing to say on the subject. In the recent monthly bulletins, no mention was made about these things. Why RBI has become such a subordinate organization to finance ministry? The governor must reclaim lost ground. Stature is lost, everything is lost. The governor must reclaim the lost ground. When sometimes a land becomes a follow because of excessive use of fertilizers, what we say? The farmers should reclaim the ground to reclaim the land, the farmers should reclaim the land which became totally useless because of excessive use of fertilizers. Here also the governor must reclaim lost ground at the earliest for the sake of his institution and the financial security of the nation. 
not only for the sake of Reserve Bank of India, but also for the sake of financial stability or financial security of the nation. Right? This article is quite critical about RBI's functioning in recent times. And with this, we came to the end of this discussion. And tomorrow, we are going to deliberate on globalization's new spokesman. And this is today's The Hindu Editorial. Please go through this tomorrow. We are going to deliberate on this. Right, friends, have a nice day. Thank you. Thanks a lot.